Tori James has climbed to the top of Everest. She is a physical geographer who loves her subject. Um, I really, really do love it. I, I love it because it literally is all around you, um, both the built environment and, and the natural environment. And I've been really lucky to have been involved in um, a number of expeditions now where all my sort of geographical knowledge is just there in front of me. So everywhere you look, you'll be walking along and you'll be able to identify features for yourselves, such as the um, snout of a glacier or a hanging valley. Um, you'll be able to see you know, erosion actually taking place before your eyes. When you're doing something um, as challenging as Everest, you need little things to cheer you up. So um, maybe one, one of these hats, I'm not sure pink is my colour. <laughs> So you like red? Well, if I try that one on, then, <laughs> you know, got a snowflake. Um, I kind of had to pinch myself that it was Everest that I was standing on top of. And I just stood on the summit and did a full 360 degrees uh, and looked around and realised that I could see the curvature of the Earth. Um, wow. <laughs> and, and also I reached the summit at 7.30 in the morning and so I could see Everest's own shadow stretching out across the Himalaya over other mountains. So then it, it really did dawn on me that yes, I was standing on the highest mountain in the world. And I actually stayed up there for about 40 minutes, um, which is quite a long time when um, you've got sort of 50 mile an hour winds and the temperatures at minus 40. Um, and so, yeah, when my hands did finally start to go, I thought it would be best to start my descent. <laughs>